Now this next story we've all been very impressed by today. Droves of young voters all day out at ASU's Tempe campus. They're saying this could be the year of the millennial. Nicole, what can you tell us about the millennial vote and the huge turnout they had in Tempe? Um, uh, Mark, this turnout is incredible. It is unprecedented. If you ask me, take a look. I just want you to see the line. This right here is where you actually go in to vote. And take a look at this line. It goes way past here, through the, past this bridge, alongside this entire lawn, past those buildings. It actually wraps around the other building on the other side of this lawn. And this line, I can tell you, has been growing since we've gotten here. It was about a third, no, half of this size for most of the afternoon, and it has now where it was about two hours of waiting, it has now become three hours of waiting. Now we've seen as far as the East Valley, this is by far the longest line that we have heard of. There were a couple of issues in the morning. You heard the recorder talking about that, the county recorder talking about that. We've also had a couple um, later on. They were fixed pretty quickly. This, believe it or not, is not because of a technical issue. It is simply because of the large turnout, largely the millennials here. It's so important for millennials to vote this election because there's so many of us, like we can swing vote, like all the elections right now, especially like on ASU campus, like we make up about 80 to 90,000 students in this area, so we can easily swing a vote with those numbers. Well, we've been here for about an hour or so, like at least coming up to an hour. I mean, the chance for my voice to be heard, so that's pretty good. I need that more than a flat screen TV, honestly. Yeah, you can hear some of those students comparing this to the lines you see on Black Friday, but instead of a flat screen TV, you get to vote, which you heard from there. They're very excited about this, and it's exciting to see young people exercising that right to vote. Mark Garibay.